So today we are going to discuss some of the scenario questions which were asked in Deloitte. So this is one of the question. Uh, the question is like this. You are a data analyst at a large retail company. And uh, what happens is this since this is large company, they are collecting large amount of data. And to refresh the data, this is happening on daily basis. So every day the new data is coming and the new data should be updated every day. Okay, so for updating data, schedule refresh is set up. But the issue is that it is often failing. Why it's failing? Because data is huge, right? So it's failing. And is uh, issue another issue is it is taking long day. I mean, like long time. Also, memory is also increased. So three three issues are there. Data is uh, taking very long time, and the job is consistently failing, and the memory usage is increasing. This is the scenario which they gave us. So what we have to do is we have to find a solution to this so uh, what solution you will tell in this scenario so what you have to answer is you have to tell is it is incremental refresh okay so the solution is incremental refresh so what is incremental refresh in the normal schedule refresh every time whenever new updates are there then every day the whole data gets refreshed but in incremental refresh what happens is only the latest data will get refreshed when the first time when you are loading the whole data will get loaded but the, from the next day only the new data or or uh, you can specify the interval like uh, refresh only the last two days or refresh only the last three days or refresh only last week this week data like that you can specify and only that particular data will be refreshed so what will happen is uh, the, this will uh, save memory and you can also save the time. So that is the main reason. So these points you can tell when you first implement incremental refresh, initial schedule refresh loads all the historical data. But after that subsequent schedule refresh only load only load new and updated data based on the time span you set in the incremental refresh policy. Example only the last two days of new data. Okay. So by using incremental refresh, Power BI efficiently manage large data sets by only updating new and recently changed data. Okay, this thing you have to tell. This much you have to tell. And then there are some conditions for incremental refresh. So what are those conditions? Data source compatibility. All the data sources may not support incremental refresh. So these are some of the databases which will support SQL Server, Oracle, MySQL. So you have to ensure that the data source is compatible. And the next one is date column requirement. The table should have a date column. Why table should have a date column? Because incremental refresh works based on the date only. So that you should have the, uh, you should satisfy the date column requirement and the date should be present. Next one is query folding. So query folding ensures Power Query generates a single query to retrieve and transform data. And this will optimize the performance. So this is the first thing, first question answer. And these are the things you have to mention. Then we have another scenario question. This is, can we pin visualization one from report two, which is available in workspace two into dashboard one, where visualization from one from report one is already pinned. So for this, you have to answer, no, you cannot pin visualizations from different workspaces into the same dashboard. This is the point you have to keep in mind. So this question you may not get directly, but you might get pisted versions of it. But the basic point you have to remove is no, you cannot pin visualizations from different workspaces into the same dashboard. That is not possible. So Power BI dashboards and workspace are they are specific to the workspace, meaning the visualizations which are pinned to a dashboard must all come from the reports that exist within the same workspace. So in this case, report visualization one is from report two, which is in workspace two. Okay, so they are not in same workspace. They are in different workspaces. You cannot pin visualizations from different workspaces into the same dashboard. This point you have to remember. If you remember this remaining, uh, whatever twist they make, you can answer it. So Power BI dashboards are workspace specific, meaning that visualizations pinned to a dashboard must all come from reports that exist in the same workspace. Here report one is in workspace one, report two is in workspace two. So you cannot pin visualizations like that. Okay. So what is workaround for this situation? You can answer that you can recreate or duplicate reports. I mean, you can combine the reports from different workspaces into single workspace and then pin visualizations. That way you can combine reports from different workspace into single workspace. Okay, next one is share insights with data sets. Okay, so you can use shared data sets. So whenever they ask, can we pin visualizations from different workspaces? 
no it's not possible next one is workarounds recreate or duplicate reports one thing is you can recreate or duplicate report second one is you have to use shared data sets okay hope you understood if you want to hear or learn more such scenario questions please like and subscribe the channel